Hello, this is Ben here, and I know I hadn't really been uploading a video for about a week now, just because I've been busy with stuff, but now I'm back for a, a VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and a book update for April, uh, I think t April, uh, I think April 13th if I'm not mistaken. Sorry if I sorry if I get the the date wrong, but anyways, I now I have I got quite a lot of stuff in this update because I got a couple VHS tapes, a couple DVDs, Blu-rays, one Blu-ray and one book. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna start with the Emperor's New Groove on VHS. I already have another copy of this tape, but it's elsewhere, so I just got this so I can have the case for it. The label. Right date is April 6, 2001. So I'm good to have this, well with the case that is. Now let's get on to the cardboard tapes. We're gonna start with 50 First Dates with Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore. I'm gonna go kind of quick in this update if that's okay with you guys. Just cause I got kind of a bit of a lot here, so I'm just gonna hurry up. There's the label, my print date. Got 28 Days with Sandra Bullock. We got the label here. This is a 2000 release. This was a former rental from Entertainment uh, Tonight uh, in Wall Lake, Michigan, South, South Commerce. We have Biker Boys with Lawrence Fishburne and Kid Rock. Kid Rock's in this movie. <laughs> Yep. Anyways, I'm going to show you the tape. Here's the ink label. And there's the print date. Moving along, we have Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason. This is the sequel to Bridget Jones' Diary. Uh, which I also have on VHS. Here's that. got Grease 2 with Maxwell Caulfield and Michelle Pfeiffer. This has a different cast than the first one. I think this was Michelle Pfeiffer's film debut. Yeah, I think this, I don't know if this, I think this was her film debut, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to look, up, look it up again if I can. And then over here, we got Othello. This also has Lawrence Fishburne as well as Irene Jacob and Kenneth Brenna. Brenna, I forget how you say his last name, but it's okay. We got the sticker label. It's a Castle Rock film, so that's the way it looks. And finally, out of the VHS tapes, we have Metro with Eddie Murphy. Two thumbs up by Siskel and Ebert. Yep, use the label. Okay, that's it for the VHS tape, so now we're going to go on to the DVDs, which I got six of them. So, here we go. We're going to start with Stranger Than Fiction with Will Ferrell. This has an all-star cast. Yep, co-produced by Mandate Pictures, which they, they don't make movies anymore because Good Universe took over. That's okay, here's the, the disc. Alright, over here we got Star Wars The Clone Wars. This is the movie version of the TV show Star Wars The Clone Wars on Cartoon Network. Haven't seen this. I haven't I haven't watched any of the Star Wars movies in a while, but this one I hear is supposed to be pretty bad, but I'll have to check it out anyways, just to see what I think. It's based on the show anyway, but here's, there, here's that. Over here, we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower with Emma Watson and also Logan Lerman and Ezra Miller. This is this is based on the book. Uh, Stephen Krosky, who also wrote the book to this, that's so pretty cool. He also, I think he also directed Wonder that came out a few years ago. Not too sure. Oh, wait. Yeah, I got that. Here we go. 
We got two more left. We got Valentine's Day. This has an all-star cast. Yep, I'm just going a little bit quick here. But I'm sure most of you guys probably know that. Here's the disc. And finally, from the DVDs, we have Made in Manhattan with Jennifer Lopez and Ray Fiennes. It's a 2002 movie. The best romantic comedy since Pretty Woman. I don't really think it is, but it's alright. Yep, Red Ohm Films. Or Red Om Films, I think that's how you say that. This came out a year before Mona Lisa's Smile was released. Because, you know, they made that as well. I think it's Julia Roberts' production company, but not too sure. It's... I don't think Julia Roberts was involved in this film, but it's still alright. The case is not in the best condition. It's kind of bumpy, not really flat. Okay, now onto the Blu-ray, which this one, this Blu-ray is a big surprise. Because I never thought I was going to get this, because I'm always kind of hesitant on buying these kinds of films on Blu-ray. Because this was used, but it's actually it's actually still in the wrap, so that's pretty cool. But what I have here, this Blu-ray, it's a Pixar Blu-ray, which I'm very hesitant on buying. That's why I said that. And it is Finding Dory on Blu-ray. Yep. I'm very... Yeah, this, this is kind of interesting now that it's in my collection, because I'm always hesitant on buying Pixar films on Blu-ray, just because I already have them on DVD. I mean, it's great to own them whatever format you have, but to me, I just like to own them on DVD just because I think it's very fair. But I figure that since since they had it there, since it's the only time they had it there, I, I, I figure I might as well just get this because it's, it's still in the wrap and still... I'm pretty sure this has all the discs because it's still in the wrap, so it's going to be pretty good. So, of course, this is unopened, so, yeah. But anyways, there you go. That's Finding Dory. I'm glad to have it. Pretty interesting one as well. And finally, for the book, I got one book in this update. And it is I Kissed Dating Goodbye. I think that's how it's, what it's called by Joshua Harris. It's a romance story, so it just kind of bear with me here. And another reason why I got this is because it's published by Multnomah, the publishing company right there. It's not Paramount, it's Multnomah. They are the the company that also produce that also publishes most of the books that my grandpa has at his house up north in Lexington in my home state. So it's good to have a book by that publishing company of my own. Uh, so it's pretty cool. And this book does look pretty good, so I'll have to maybe read it, check it out. And that's it for my VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and book update for... Uh... I forget what today is... I forget what the date is today, but... I think today might be the 13th, but... But I, 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 might, I might not put in the right date if I when I upload this, so... Or the 12th, maybe... Uh, I'm not too, I'm not too sure, but I'll have to, when I, when I look at the calendar to see what day it is, I, because I don't remember what day it is, I don't know what number the day is today, so I will, so I will, uh, when I upload this, when, for the title thing, I will check the calendar to make sure what day it is today, I might, I might not say it's the right day today, but, but I'll put it, the title in anyway. But anyways, there you go. That's my update, and I will see you again most likely later, but I'm not too sure if I if I will have time or not. Like how I'm feeling because of my tiredness, but I will see you again nonetheless anyway.